Hey guys, good morning. I am so sorry. I was talking and did not realize I was not. <laughs> I hadn't hit the uh, the enter studio. Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. We are going to get into it this morning really quick. Um, I'm so glad I realized uh, I was not in the studio yet. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. Um, we're going to get into this pretty quick. Uh, there is a component to the story that we do need to talk about as we progress. And I wanted to make sure that um, I bubbled this up because um, Erica Hughley is going to become, she is a really big part of this story, obviously. And I think that, um, I don't know that everyone has seen her charges. If you have Googled the Erica Hughley and Ernest Williams story, you can see um, Roswell police giving their depiction of what's happened. So those are very easy stories to find and are obviously posted. I have some videos in my playlist that I have a few of those um, interwoven into a couple of live streams. So make sure if you're new here and you have not engaged the playlist yet, I will have it in the description box. So a couple housekeeping items. I did a live yesterday on Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts where we broke down the two bail hearings. We we kind of, now they mean a little bit more since we're learning a little bit more with the phone calls and who this cast of characters are. And keep in mind, obviously, this is real life. So when I say characters, I mean characters as in people, right? But this is playing out almost as a drama to us. But in all fairness, this is people's real lives. And these are real criminals, uh, real criminal charges and real people who have had their time in and out of they've they've had their time with Fulton County and, and a few others, right? So Erica Hughley is Ernesto's co-defendant. Um, let me share my screen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't know if any I'm look, it's super early, so um no worries about being in the chat, not in the chat. I was trying to get this little 25 minutes in real quick um so that we could talk about this and I can just refer to this. Okay. So this is Erica Hughley, um, Ernesto Williams co-defendant, uh, Miss Ma'am right here. And of course we are talking about Ernest, AKA Ernesto Williams, the husband of Shirley Strawberry, Shirley Strawberry of the Steve Harvey show. If you happen to just kind of drop in here and don't know what I'm talking about. Um, let me kick off with this before I share my screen. So in case you didn't know, and everyone should know, if you're subscribed over here, I dropped a, um, a short video yesterday, basically that Steve Harvey and, um, Shirley are doing a special strawberry letter, uh, on today. They said it's going to be eight o'clock. Um, do they say eight o'clock? Eastern, maybe seven central. So eight o'clock Eastern this morning. So we've got a little bit of time and or seven. Um, I, what I did is I just downloaded the iHeartRadio app and cause I don't, I mean, we have a local station here. Um, if you are in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, it's V101.9. Um, so I would check that out, but I just went ahead and downloaded the iHeartRadio app cause I don't know what I'm going to be doing at that moment. So, um, that's it and that's all. But listen to this real quick. Uh, hopefully I can play this. Informative, sprinkled with ignorance from time to time. And then today, uh, later on, uh, we're going to get into some things on the strawberry left. Mm -hmm. Y'all been sitting there waiting all weekend. The waiting is over. We're going to do a strawberry letter. It's going to be live this morning. <laughs> yes. The only difference between this letter is at 7 a.m. Central Time. 8 a.m. Eastern time. Only good thing about this letter is I don't have to print this one out. <laughs> Ain't nobody got to ask me, Steve, you got your letter printed? No, hell no. Living it's it. Behind the yeah, I'm in the damn letter. I, we is the damn letter. All right, since I've been finally. You know, all these years I've been thinking, man, did I write this strawberry letter? Well, you can quit thinking today. Yep, your ass is the strawberry. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Junior. What's going on with you today? Okay. All right. Uh, let me stop this. Okay. So they are the strawberry letter. 
the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Uh, Shirley and, and Steve got some things going on. And you know what? Drama sells. It's good for business. It Look, I downloaded the iHeartRadio app today. You know what I mean? And I'm sure a lot of other people are. So if they ask you who sent you, you tell them, real talk bougie. It's bougie gang gang, okay? <laughs> you let them know that... Uh, that I sent you. Okay. Anyway, let's get into Erica Hughley real quick. This is Ernesto Williams co-defendant. Um, another thing really quick. So let me, sh let me show you a few things. Like, let's just do these housekeeping items. Then we're going to go ahead and look at her charges in Fulton County. So let me, I'm going to share my, um, I'm going to share my desktop with you guys real quick. Okay. Um, Okay, very fast. I know you guys know how to use a desktop or, you know, look at a YouTube desktop, but let's let's have at it real quick, right? So you click on my channel and obviously I'm live at this moment, right? Um, I have another channel. It's called Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts where we do reactions, reviews, and commentary mostly on social media. Um, but this is obviously social media. Shirley is also a mommy. I do typically... Um, address kind of mommy issues, mom life, corporate life, grown woman life, all of those things. And you can find that right there. Um, this is a T channel that I just kind of started. So that's that right there. You're welcome to subscribe. Um, as I told you yesterday, I did a live and it's right here, Shirley Strawberry and Ernesto. If you are interested in a consolidated look at that bail hearing, this is a video right here. This was late last night, um, but you can check this out. The thumbnail says Big Trouble. Check that out. We looked at both of those bail hearings in the chat when we go to that particular hearing. And um, if you look in the chat, I've dropped the links to those videos that I'd done previously. Um, and then last night, um, I labeled it New Call. Um, Shirley seems to think that people are jealous. They don't like them as a couple, which was interesting. That's some tea we're going to talk about. And also Shirley thinks, cause we're married. Okay. My man, my man, my man, they're jealous of my man. Okay. That's what Shirley is thinking and feeling. Um, so this playlist is right here and you can find this playlist. If you go over to the playlist section and all of any of the topics that I'm covering on either channel is in this playlist. So it makes it really, really, really easy um, to be able to locate all of this content. And typically I try, but I'm not perfect. Um, I will drop it in the chat. Good morning, Erica. Good morning, India. Good morning to my amazing mods. Okay. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining me this morning. Okay. So these links have been provided. They're in the chat. I will definitely make sure to drop them into the description box. But as you can see, um, all of this content is there. Um, if I do a live on my other channel, sometimes I do double up topics. So don't be confused. If it, it, you know, when I pivot to a different topic, I typically chapter it out. Um, and if they're not involved, you're not going to hear anything that has to do with it. So clearly we're into another phase. So, um, I do have a couple of, uh, lives from my other channel where I talked about two different topics at the same time. It's chaptered and separated and one has nothing to do with the other, other than I think both parties live in Atlanta. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. And thank you. This is going to be a really quick, uh, this is kind of almost a housekeeping item. Cause I felt like, you know, I've been following this case now for a few months and now it's getting really juicy. People are super interested. There's gossip. There's some nosy voyeur element to it because we are, we are privy to some phone calls. Another thing, um, make sure to check out the interview that I have with phone calls from prison. I actually had dropped them a comment and that's how these calls, you know, I don't look, people may have had calls before. I don't know. But all I know is that when I heard the bail hearings, I heard them mention some phone calls and it piqued my interest. Um, then I came across this phone calls from prison channel and I was watching on a different topic and I dropped them a comment about this and they ran with it. They got the calls. Um, I did an interview with them, which is right here. And they have since shared calls with me. But if you want to hear from the team of phone calls from prison, 
Uh, you can hear this interview and um, it's right here in the uh, playlist. Let me, like I said, let me drop the link because uh, I do try to do that um, whenever I mention something. Um, so if you're watching this and you're not engaged in the chat right now, that's okay. Just open the chat and you're going to see the links dropping um, to these, to anything that I'm mentioning. I typically try to do that. Um, just that way it makes my life easier and it'll make your life easier. So it's, it's always fun to watch the chat anyway, because pe you know, every y'all are funny in the comment section. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So we got all of that covered. You guys know about the playlist, right? It usually uh, always happens. I, ha I haven't, you guys know about the playlist. You guys know about um, the live from last night. Please check this out. This was a really good live. Um, I think that um, you will enjoy it. If you've been enjoying my content so far, you will enjoy um, this live here. Is request this link, but let me share it. Um, because when I go live on Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts this morning, it's going to be on a whole nother topic. Um so this is, I'm just going to put it in here live from last night. Okay, guys. So, um, okay. So we've got that taken care of. And let's get to it. So this call, we're going to react to this call today at some point, maybe after uh, the Steve Harvey strawberry letter situation happens. I'm not going to broadcast that live because I almost suspect that there would be a problem with that. Um, I will be listening and then I guess we'll talk about it afterwards or I don't know. Um, but I just, I don't think I can broadcast that while they're live because they broadcast on so many different platforms. I don't want them coming after me for uh, copywriting issues and things like that, especially like live streaming another live stream broadcast um, of the size of theirs. So I don't know how they handle that um, as far as uh, that particular technicality. So I'm going to wait till it's over. Um, but maybe we, we can talk through it. It just depends on what I've got going on at that time. But rest assured at eight o'clock, I will be listening just like you guys are, right? Um, anyway, let's get over here to uh, Erica Hughley. Um, Erica Hughley, um, as we heard, if you listened last night, um, the state attorney uh, who is handling some of the federal charges talked about a UJC bond, I think. Uh, so let's talk about that for a second. Okay. Um, so this is Erica Hughley and we're going to look at these charges down here. It's a uh, booking number two, two, one, zero, eight, six, seven. Oh man. Let me log back in. I had this whole thing ready. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Don't forget to press the like button and don't forget to share. Um, I certainly appreciate you sharing out this content. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. All right. So we're on. Okay. So here we go. So check this out. I'm going to try to make this as big as possible. So keep in mind, if I show you the whole screen, you're not going to see everything. So I want to show what's important at this moment. And this is really more, we're not deep diving, but this is like more of an effort to level set what we know, what we don't know. Erica Hughley, this is like a point of reference. So if you're kind of like, oh yeah, who was Erica Hughley again? Number one, Erica Hughley is someone that Ernesto, Ernest Williams has known for 20 years. They are, I'm just going to say partners in crime at this moment. That is his co-defendant. Okay. And um, Sis has been out here. Okay. Erica Hughley. Uh, let me make sure you can see my whole screen. Okay. Hopefully you can see all this. Just turn your phone uh, landscape. Uh, Erica Hughley, Erica King, Erica M. King, Erica Monisha, uh, Erica with a K. I think um, these are all of her aliases. India Young, 
Okay. Um, what was the other name that she had showed up in court? Um, they actually, she actually used a real name of an attorney, but did not have the actual bar number. And they were showing up for court. And it turned out that when she gave the incorrect bar number, that's what raised suspicion of that sitting judge. And that judge, that kicked off search warrants and uh, picking everybody up and uh, just a host of different things. So um, I believe Ernesto could have been in jail at this time. So the thing is that's coming clearer to me in looking at these dates and looking how things have happened is that Ernesto number one has been in jail. He's been processed before he's been arrested before in this marriage. So Shirley should not be surprised about Ernesto getting into some trouble because he's been there, done that. And some of these schemes that he has been alleged to have been part of and has been charged, not convicted. He hasn't had his day in court yet. So we are talking about allegations, charges. He's in jail, not prison, all of the things. This is some of the things that his co-defendant has been up to. Um, and this is what she has been charged with. Now, some of these things are saying dismissed or some of these things are saying UJC, unsecured judicial jail release. OK, um, but this is what sis has been up to most recently. OK, forgery, knowingly file false documents. So she was posing as a lawyer submitting documents. Now, can you be your own lawyer? Yes. Uh, and don't have to have been to anybody's law school or past anyone's bar, but you cannot pretend, you cannot go defend someone um, as an attorney in a court of law and pretend to be a lawyer. This woman was posing as an attorney using a name of an attorney with a fictitious bar number and a fictitious practice, knowingly filing false documents against a person two times, okay? Impersonating another in the acknowledgement or recognition of bail or judgment. She was representing Ernesto at the time he was already arrested for something and um, she was pretending to be someone, okay? And um, she was in the Zoom call and it said the person's name, and I cannot remember what it was. I think it was Amanda something, um, a known attorney's name in the um, in the county of Fulton. Um, but she was not. They didn't recognize her. She didn't look. She wasn't. She wasn't matching up with who people knew to be that person and someone who had shown up to court previously. That was one thing that was kind of a suspicion. Um, then. She went, she was in the Zoom. She needed to share her screen. She left the Zoom. She came back to the Zoom and it said Erica King. Someone noticed that and said, who is Erica King and why does it say Erica King? And she said, that's my uh, legal assistant. That's my paralegal. And they said, well, send us your bar number. And she says, can I send it to you in the chat? She sends it in the chat and it does not coincide with the name that was given, either names that have been given. And that's a problem, okay? unauthorized practice of law, forgery, 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 aggravated identity fraud, felony, 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 four times, false statements, you know, lying to the judge about I am a lawyer and you're not, forgery in the first degree, identity theft when using, possessing, identifying a concerning person that was lying to the judge, um, unauthorized practice of law, impersonating it. So all of these, all of these. Now you will notice some of them say dismissed, but this is what I think. I think Erica is talking and Erica is under the uh, secure, unsecured judicial jail release. Basically, we're going to let you out, but you're going to, you know, you're, she's getting something for something. You know, there's no free lunches in this, in the uh, criminal system. If you know something, that's currency, right? And Ernesto, he's got some issues and Sir has been involved in some things and Erica King has known this man and has been up to, up to shenanigans with him. Clearly, uh, for a minute, they have been tied to a couple of things, specifically this, so we'll stay on that. Um, 
And here we go. Okay. Identity theft, identity theft. So they took these charges. You see how it says 2722 and dismiss those, right? But they're just right back here. So I think they housed them into something else because the judge um, gave her a unsecured judicial bond um, and state attorney Majeski stated that he was not going to go into the reason why they engaged in that deal with that person at all. So, and you can hear that in my live from last night. Okay. So again, go to the playlist when we're done here and go to the thumbnail. It says big trouble. If you want to hear about that, we went through, um, those, those bail hearings and uh, you will hear some of this will make some more sense when you hear some of the charges and who his co-defendant is. And when they say no more contact with your co-defendant, Erica Hughley, Erica Hughley Rothschild, you know, da, 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 all of that. This is this is ma'am right here. OK, so as you can see, they've given her everything on an unsecured bond. So you see, even on two seven, there were some things. And then also there were some more things that were um, recharged again, forgery in the first degree on 315, identity theft. So sis has been busy out here doing, um, doing, doing the most. And, um, but she has, uh, she's still under charges, but she is not to talk to Mr. Ernest Williams anymore. And um, let me share this because I kind of, it's, uh, it's kind of a thing at this moment. Um, Ernesto Williams, we know very well he is sitting in Cobb County. It has been 347 days sitting uh, Mr. Ernest Lavelt Williams has been in jail in Cobb County 347 days. He was just about to hit 90 days in Fulton County when he was transferred to Cobb County. I think we know this because we've heard this so much. Whenever we hear a phone call, he wants to remind everybody he's in Cobb County. He's in, oh, look, it says 910. Let me refresh. Okay, now it says 911 at 6.59 a.m. Good morning. Um, it is 348, okay? Um, sir is still in Cobb County. Yes, he's gotten bail. Um, but he has charges. He's not, he, he won't, I, I look, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not his lawyer. Um, but what I'm going to say is this, there are some charges that I don't think he's going to get bail on just to be quite honest. Okay. Um, and those are the CP charges. And I do have a little, um, clarity on, uh, some things that I'll share later on this afternoon. I want to do some research for myself before I um, talk about it. But um, I did get some information regarding some of the allegations, specifically with animals, and um, which seemed weird because I was like, well, maybe he was fighting dogs or something. You know, I mean, there are some horrible crimes that are committed against animals, um, but I was not prepared for what I heard. And, um, it was quite disgusting and appalling. And, um, I do want to see if I can read with my own eyeballs, these documents so that when I retell it in my own way, um, I can do it some justice. So I want to get the arrest documents. Um, so I might have to file a, uh, freedom of information request to get the arrest indictment. Um, to me and um, I will do that. So um, I just don't want to repeat something I've heard and I don't know a hundred percent for sure. So um, we got a lot of time. This man's been in jail for over a year. So I don't, um, you guys understand, right? We got time and I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't want to be the spreader of bad information. Um, I'm not a journalist. Uh, but this is, this is a case that I've taken a lot of interest in. As you can see on this channel, we talk a lot of cases um, just out of interest and uh, awareness sometimes. And this was out of juiciness and messy gossip. But at the end of the day, like I said yesterday in my live, there's a lot of components that make this a very, very juicy, juicy, juicy case. 
Um, number one, it's the family, you know, the family of it all. Um, his family, her family, the relationship with the kids, Shirley and her daughter, there's underlying problems. Um, this couple here, this woman who has is is 70 years old, all for all intents and purposes. She's 69, excuse me. She's I find her quite beautiful. Um, and I think she she looks amazing for 69, but she's a she's a good looking woman. Um, you know. And we've got this very nice looking couple who seem to be doing very well in the city of Atlanta. Meanwhile, sir is a whole criminal. And I think the interesting story for us women who some of you are getting dressed and getting into your nice cars. Some people are getting ready to go jump on the train in Chicago and New York and LA and all of these places and going to your, going to your nice jobs and these tall buildings and all of the things um, you meet a nice guy and you think he's decent. He's driving nice cars. He smells good. He's following, um, you know, all the steps to try to be uh, looking high value, making six figures, wearing the expensive colognes, driving the nice car, keep it clean, all the things. And you find out, girl, you got yourself a good old fashioned bum. OK, you got yourself a good old fashioned bum dressed in a suit and who has a little bit of extra coins. But nonetheless, he's still a dusty bum. OK, because if we don't know anything today, we know that Mr. Ernesto is, you know, he he's no good. You know, um, just from a standpoint of you're a whole married man and you're on the phone with a woman in Florida and you you two seriously have something going on. And it's a problem, right? Your wife doesn't know anything about it. Your kids know all about it. And um, you got this lady looking real foolish out here, okay? Um, it's the crimes. I mean, that's a whole... That's 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 what first got me interested. Um, but also, it's like, Shirley Strawberry married who? This dude? Really? I, I would have expected so much better from her um, just because she's of a certain age, just because she has a certain type of job, just because she works with certain types of people who go on yachts and, and, know, and know lots of people in a very influential circle. It's like, ma'am, what are you doing? What are you doing with this guy? OK, but it happens to it happens to the best. I mean, we've seen in the music industry, we've seen uh, women at the top of the game in the music industry having to deal with certain legal situations. So we've seen that this is nothing new. Shirley's just like us. Right. This is what I think fascinates people, too, sometimes is like, oh, OK, it's it's not just rich people problems. It's just people problems. Right. So sis isn't going through anything different from what others have gone through. But I think one of the head scratchers and one of the comments that comes through all the time is how did this happen? She's with the influential circle. Why didn't anybody check him out? Maybe people did. Maybe she was just like, I don't want to hear it because in the call that I put up um, last night, which I encourage you to go and listen to. Uh, maybe I can find that little piece. Um, she says people are jealous of them. She says people, it sounds like some YouTube streets. She said people are jealous. They're hating. They're mad because we're married. They're mad because we love each other. Like she was talking that ish. Okay. Doesn't she look a little like Wendy? She does. She absolutely does. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Hold on. Let me share this. Okay. So again, guys, I'm in my playlist so you can find everything that was posted late last night and it was late y'all i didn't go to sleep till two o'clock in the morning and i just had to see my husband out the door at 5 30 so i'm back up because i knew the news was going to be popping um on this morning and then i also girl you know i gotta go uh you know we gotta drop off at school and all the things um, so in between, I'm doing my thing thing. OK, so right here, this is the live that we did last night. We went over the bail hearings. This one, big trouble. This is what we're into right now. New jail call, Shirley Strawberry. Let me see if it's right about. I don't know where, what the minute mark is. Well, let me see. Well, how am I doing that? She's staying with us. How am I doing let me see. I know, I know. Somewhere around the ride. Okay. And I was like, you know, I'm just saying it's crazy. I, I know, but like I said, I really think that that she somebody's talking to her. Go on down there, and you know, because because after you these two arrested, talk so slow. After she what? After you got arrested, she really kind of stopped talking to me. 
Oh. When they and, and when they called, well, I take that back. When they called her. Oh, they called her call because her name was in my fucking phone. That's why. No, and then when they. I, I'm going to say this. When she went downtown and they told her what he's got going on in that computer, if they gave her any inkling of what happened in that computer and what they found in that computer and the fetish of what this man allegedly is into and the depiction that I heard in that police report, I died like a little bit inside. It just, it made me sad on so many levels. Okay. Um, that's why I really don't want to repeat it until I can put my eyeballs on it. Um, and I'm, I certainly won't be repeating it verbatim, but it's very disgusting. Um, I completely understand why she would say, I don't want to have anything to do with this guy. Make sure he doesn't ever talk to me again. Like, on period because there's just a certain thing of being on notice when people let you know something you no longer can be you can no longer use ignorance as a defense because people have now told you so now you're making a decision right so when sheridan as a mother was put on notice about this man she has no choice but to distance herself because this guy is being accused of some heinous, disgusting things. And that's it. It's, it's, it's quite heinous. Very distasteful and scary even, okay? And they called him dangerous for a reason. They are creating ways out of, you know, to keep him locked up for a reason. And, and I don't know if he is the person who is orchestrating those acts or he's just a cultivator and, you know, I don't know that he's a purveyor and he is creating the situation or he's just a collector of that imagery but no matter what your part in that type of content is, if you even want to call it content, but I'm trying to use, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't want to get this live um, restricted. You are a sick individual. You are a sick individual. And um, when the assistant district attorney said, pre well, she didn't say predator. She said there was numerous it's numerous. Her, his lawyer was trying to say one. And even I said in my live last night, one picture of someone potentially being victimized is too much because just think of what happened before the picture came, right? The, the, the numerous pictures that didn't make it to the computer, but numerous Majeski said he'd seen four ADA said numerous. And then in the arrest affidavit, um, that I was privy to hearing read off said 30 images were cataloged onto this and each image was cataloged very specifically. And I got to number four and I just had to, I had to speed up cause I didn't want to, I couldn't, I didn't want my, I never, that's something that has now entered my brain that I can't forget. So that's why a lot of times when uh, they don't, even for the trigger, just for the in the uh, inconceivable, the we never th I never thought of that. Um, disgusting, okay? Because honestly, I thought maybe he was dog fighting or something. I was like, oh my god, what he what could he be doing to animals? You know, it was kind of almost like a joke. Um, nasty, nasty Nesto. Okay, let's hear Shirley. I if hopefully I'm at the right part, but if not, I'm gonna have to go in a minute, guys, because I gotta get on mom duty. Um, but I will be over on Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts doing a reaction to um, a mommy video um, that is that needs um, that needs me, uh, my folk over on Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts, and I will be listening out for the Steve Harvey Strawberry Letter, and I'll be doing all the things. So you guys will be hearing from me a lot today. So make sure that you're subscribed to both of my channels. Make sure your notifications are set. If you're enjoying this content, I'm glad and I thank you very much. If you want to hear this call, it's in the playlist. So, so you guys got lots to listen to. If you weren't out here last night, 
um, that's okay. You got a whole call waiting for you that is exclusive to me. It's phone calls from prison shared with me a series of calls, and this is one of them. So you won't hear that this on their channel. Um, there might be a piece of it I think that they used, but in its entirety, um, this is a call in its entirety. Okay. Um, this is it right now that we're on. Um, and then, uh, cause to anybody who wants to like, Fran, you didn't play the whole, it's in the playlist. We it's, it's, live and direct last night. Okay. And any content creators who are out here, you know, I'm not, I don't, I don't get into all that filing strikes and stuff like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like we're, you know, um, if there is something that you would like to use, just, just cite the source. I so appreciate it. You know what I mean? I feel, I, I just feel like that's just what's the right thing to do. If I go to someone's channel, I cite the source, I drop the link, things like that. Um, that's what keeps things cool out here. And, um, that's, that's pretty much it. That's my speech on that. Otherwise, which a couple of people have done recently. And I certainly appreciate that. So shouts out to anyone who has reached out to me about anything in terms of that. I, I so appreciate it anyway. Um, call me and I said, please don't bring my daughter in. Because because everyone's jealous. They wanted me to come down there. This was early on and I didn't go. So they, they kept calling her and, and it scared her. She was scared. And then and she went down there. That's why she went down there because she was terrified. She was scared. Mom, I have never been involved in any police. I said, neither have I. But you don't have to go down there. You don't have to do that. But I guess they just kept calling her and telling her kids' names and her names were undocumented. And she went down there. I mean, maybe they were concerned because there's minors in the house and she's a young woman and they see what kind of is she's into and they need to warn her in the event that maybe he does get out that um you got to protect yourself because um this ninja ain't right okay she see the thing with her name on it no she ain't see shit with her name on it yeah i don't that's know that part because she never talked to me about it that's why that's why she ain't have shit in her name or nothing that's why yeah. she never she never talked to me about anything that's why but I believe somebody told her to go go down there. They keep calling you, go on down there. Yeah, that, that, that's why she ain't talking to you, because you told her not to do that, and she can't tell you I had nothing on her name on nothing. Mm -hmm. That's it. So I don't know what they said to her. They didn't talk to her not to go. Yeah, well. They don't like the fact that we're together, <laughs> that we're married. Oh, they don't like okay, you. here we go. They don't like you. They don't like you. They want Hold on. Yeah, it's just, you know, people, like I said, people that don't like you, they don't like you. They want to see you fall. They want to see us fall. They don't like me. They don't like the fact that we're together, <laughs> that we're married, and we're still married. Wow. My man, my man, my man. Well, uh, well. Can you hear, I, I mean, okay. okay. But, um, it's just a mess. It's just. You know, people. so in all fairness, this was in November. Okay. November 22. Right. Um, but keep in mind that affidavit that was filed on her behalf, that was on June 26. The affidavit that said she wanted his release effectuated. She's not a victim. She's not afraid that affidavit was filed on his behalf. Well, on her behalf for her husband on June 26 guys okay so keep in mind bless you like i said people that don't like you they don't like you they want to see you fall they want to see us fall they don't like me they don't like the fact that we're together <laughs> that we're married and we're still married wow well yeah. well uh well i I signed up for it, so it's okay. This is worse than a child, uh, dealing with a woman with a child, with a baby. Uh, so this guy's really, he's super ignorant. And sometimes, like, it's really bad hearing his vocabulary, um, his his reasoning sometimes. Um, they just lying on me. And Shirley's like, no, that's what they told her. She's not lying. She's telling me what they told her, Okay. Uh, you're right. I mean, look, we know that there has been we don't even have to talk about what's been with the police and we don't have to talk about um, what can happen and things that have happened in the past. But at the end of the day, most police departments have plenty to do without trying to figure out who they can set up. 
We're not in a small town with not a lot of crime. You're in the city of Atlanta with one of the most high profile district attorneys ever, ever, who is trying to clean up Atlanta. And if you come to Atlanta and you think you're about to do something, you better think again because sis is not playing with the people, okay? Okay, she's not playing. Um, so, guys, keep in mind the Harvey, uh, Steve Harvey morning show this morning. Shirley and uh, Steve are the strawberry letter. They think it's cute. Um, Steve is uh, maybe going to talk about allegations of his wife out there giving up, uh, giving herself to other folk. Um, Steve potentially having some sort of tryst with a private chef or some sort of doctor. I've heard lots of different things. Um, these two are being free and dating or open, whatever. We don't know. And these two are married. They're of a certain age. Maybe it is easier for them to stay on brand than to separate and whatever. I don't know. I, you know what I'm saying? I do not know. But they have their own rumors going on. And then we know that these two... We know Shirley with her prize, Ernesto. Shirley should have cut and run the first time that he was arrested in their marriage. She should have she should have cut and run the second time he was arrested in their marriage. She should have cut and run a long time ago, but that's up to her. We don't know all of the details of what's going on. But like I said, as of June 26th, his attorney... Uh, filed a affidavit, as you will hear in the live from last night. So again, you've got two videos to watch until we meet again um, that basically um, we know in as a moment in time or timestamp that on June 26th, there was an affidavit that was submitted to the court on behalf of her husband stating that she was not a victim. She um, and is not a party to anything that he has been doing. She is his wife and she is uh, legally his wife and is aware of the situation. And he is, she's hoping for his release and that he, if he chooses to come to her home or wherever he chooses, I'm paraphrasing basically, but you can listen to that on last night's live. Um, she is uh, willing to receive him. And that was as of June 26. Now, as of today, September 11, well, I don't know that because things can change in a heartbeat, right? Um, but what we know is what we've seen so far. A lot of people are asking, where's the recent calls? Let me tell you, this story is so complicated. I got two solutions for, I mean, one is you kind of have to wait. Because there's so much going on. If we pick up now where we are, how are we going to know how we got there? We, we still won't know what's going on. So at the end of the day, there's hundreds of calls. So that's number one. Number two, um, you can, and I'm not being flipped by saying this. I'm just saying what's real. You can go on Cobb County website and you can do a freedom of information request. And you can ask for the calls from A to Z. They'll give you up to the minute that you requested or whatever period of time. And you can get that, okay? And then you pay your money. And um, I know for me, I had to pay $10. And they only accept money orders or cashier's checks. You have to put it in the mail. You can't pay it on the website. And you have to give your legal name and you have to give your information, um, all of the things, and you can get that. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, People are going to tell their stories how they tell their stories. If there's other channels, uh, however they're doing it is how they're doing it, right? Um, I think that um, phone calls from prison is doing it. Um, I, I enjoy the way they're doing it, and I do my channel how I do my channel. So I don't have what we know what's going on now at this moment is what we know what's going on now in the, in the moment, which is at 8 o'clock Eastern this morning. Um, they're going to be going live with a strawberry letter and that there are court documents and all different kinds of things that with a freedom of information request, anybody can have. So 
Um, that's that. So I'm waiting on some information that I requested because I want to know more of the story to share it with you guys and not just speculate. I mean, we can speculate and run the tea all we want, but at the end of the day, um, these charges are so serious. If it gets really deep into the case, as I am not an attorney, I'd rather read a document of the allegations, the affidavit of the indictments and all of those things. So we don't really have to speculate. We can go to the website. We can see what, what is that rather than to speculate and, um, gossip. Okay. Which there's nothing wrong with doing that. Cause we certainly do do that. Um, but as far as like the the actual details, I'd rather, you know, so you guys understand what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go because I got to get on mom duties. Um, girl, they're going to have to talk. And if, eventually, this is what I think for today. There's only but so much that Shirley can tell. Steve can talk about his marriage all he wants to whatever he feels comfortable with sharing. But at the end of the day, um, this is an open case and this man is under some very serious charges. Okay. Very serious. And, um, he is, he's under some very serious charges. And I do not think that, um, me personally, I don't think he's going to be getting out on any of these. Well, he's got bail on some, and it's almost up to a million dollars at this point. And when we get together later, we'll look up his jacket of what he's got going on. Um, but nonetheless, uh, I don't think he's going to get out until he goes to court and they've already labeled him as a flight risk and all of the things. So, you know, it is what it is. That's just my opinion. Let me just drop my banner. That's just my opinion. And um, at the end of the day, that's all it is. Um, so again, welcome. I'm glad you guys stopped by this morning real quick. Um, hit the playlist. Let me drop the playlist again for you guys. Um, hit the playlist so you can get caught up. Like I said, there were two late drops last night. And um, I think that you will enjoy those videos so you can get caught up on all things happening. And otherwise, um, I will see you guys, um, I guess, in like a couple of hours. And we'll talk about what's been going on, what I think is happening, and all of the things. So again, if you see me live over on Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts, we will not be on this topic first thing this morning. So just keep that in mind. Um, but we will be back on this, uh, between either of these two channels at some point late in the, in the morning. Okay. All right, guys, I hope that you have a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time. And, um, like I said, I just dropped that playlist. Um, I can't pin it, but I will, I will pin it in the first pin comment as soon as we end this live. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Make sure to like this live. Please share this on your Facebook, Instagram, any of your social media, share it out. If you would, um, I really, really appreciate the shares that really does help a lot. The likes help also absolutely. And hit the subscribe button. Make sure your notifications are set so that whenever I go live, drop a video on either of my channels, you will be notified immediately. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Have a great day. And I will see you a little bit later. Take care.